Hey everyone, it's Arjuna here, and I'm going to be showing you today how to make and animate forms in Field Artist 3. But first, I want to show you a quick menu bar that makes things a lot easier. We have a lot of tools up here that we can use to make our first form, but really, the easiest way is to go ahead and right-click anywhere on an empty spot on the field, and it brings up this little menu here. We're looking for the Draw Line tool. Um, there's other ways, other forms you can make to start off, but the draw line is really the only one you need, and I'll show you why in just a minute. So go ahead and select that, and now we've got our cursor set for us to draw a line. We'll go ahead and drag and let go anywhere on the field. And then now we've got our first form. Um, we're still in the draw line uh, cursor here, so to get rid of that and move this form, we're going to right click and select form. Form select there. And now we can actually select the form, move it wherever we want, and kind of make it how, as long or short as we want. Next what we really want to do is add a cast to this form. So I'm going to right click the form again. You'll notice we have a much larger menu because we actually clicked on a form and forms you can do much more with than just empty space. And we're going to go ahead and add a cast, add people to our form, which is right here. Let's go ahead and do 20 people in there or how many ever you want select OK and now we've got people on our first form again we can move the endpoints you can move the whole form or we can right click on the form again and notice right down here at the bottom we can now turn this form into pretty much any shape we want I'm going to do a curve form there's also a free form arc line again ellipse which is basically a circle and then our two forms of curves I like this one once you select it, it also highlights every one of the cast members on that form. If you don't want them highlighted, just right click again, select cast select, and then click a blank spot on the screen, and then it'll go away. Just make sure you go back to form select so we can now manipulate our form. We click it here, and again, this form is now a curve form, so these little dots show up, and now we can shape the form however we, however we want. Now you can double click on these dots to get rid of them, or you can double click on the form to add more, whichever, whatever you need to make the form that you're trying to make. Once you're done, you just move the form kind of wherever you want, and or wherever you need. You can also move these boxes here and make it smaller or larger. And then you're set. Now we've got our first set. And then the only thing to do after this is to get it to the next page. So what we do for that, again, right click on the form and then select right here, transition. This is going to bring up our transition menu, which is again going to bring um, our form from one page to another. Uh, it already presets for you 32 counts every time no matter what, but you of course can change that a number of steps right here on the right. I'm going to go ahead and do 16. You can also choose over here how you want it to get to that form. Float basically means go, go from one spot to the next spot in a straight line. Don't curve to get there, just go straight there and that's how it's going to animate it. So that's what float means. And the only other one I use besides that is custom, which I'll get to a little bit later. But for now let's stick with float, hit OK, and OK again. And now we are on the second page. And you can tell because down here, there's a little highlight right here on the end of the um, counts menu, basically. And that indicates we're on the second page. Uh, now you just got to move the form or shape the form to however you want it to look in the next page. We can move it over here and shape it however, however we want. We can change the form, perhaps, maybe do a line. And then bam, that's our second page. To go back, all we have to do is select up here. These are our page buttons. This page, um, the backwards P, bring, brings us back one page. The forward P brings us forward page, forward one page. So we're wanting to go back to the page we just came from, which is where we started. And, and we can click forward to see how it kind of is going to look and how far they go. And then really what you want to do is hit the play button to see what it's going to look like as it animates there. And it's basically as simple as that. Uh, it's just all about um, 
creating the forms you want and doing it kind of in a, a quick time, which this menu bar, the right click menu bar helps you do. So that's basically it for how you make a form and, and how you uh, manipulate it. I also wanted to show you guys how to animate multiple forms to the next page. Again, you can right click, draw a line, or you can choose up here and choose the draw line tool that way or any of these other tools. Create the forms you want to make, how many ever you need, add cast to them. Shape the forms however you want. Remember you can right click on the form to turn it into whatever you want. And then you're all set to move these guys to the next set. You'll notice that if you want to right click, you can't really right click all the forms at once because if you do that, you're only selecting one form and only that form, if you choose to do so, would go to the next page and not the other forms. So really what you want to do is highlight all the forms, go up here, choose form, and then transition. And that will transition all of your members to the next page. We'll choose how many counts we want to do, hit OK. And now all of our forms will move to the next page. You'll notice that when I scan over them, it selects them as red. That indicates that these pictures are actually here on this set. And then you just move it to however you want. And you can go back right here to see how it's going to look. And then you just move multiple uh, forms to the next page. If for some reason you do want to move just one form to the next page, that's fine. Just right click on it, hit transition, choose how many counts you want to do, and then only that form will have moved to the next page. You'll know that, that that's the only form that's on the next page because I cannot select any of these other cast members. And you'll notice when I hover over it, it doesn't turn red, but when I do so on this form, it does, and I can move it. So now if we go to the beginning, we've got this set, it transitions from one form, and then goes to the next form that only those people did because I selected them to do so. All right, and that's pretty much how you uh, make a form and how you get it to the next page. The only thing you want to do after that really um, is you can choose the 3D glasses here to toggle how you're going to look at the form, move. This is the old Field Artist 2 view, or you can choose, of course, the more updated True View mode. Go to the beginning, see how it's going to animate, and then you're all set. And you just keep working from there, keep making forms, and you'll be finished with the entire show before you know it. Alright, if you guys have any other questions, just let me know. I have another video coming up in just a little bit as well. Thanks again.